Hello, my fellow worthy human beings. It is that time of year again, and we can no longer deny. Well, actually, we will spend a great deal of our time in denial, but that's not the point. The other day, we woke up to some alarming news. It was August 1st. Back to school season is upon us with zero warning. Teachers are getting their supplies together, class pets are screeching at the thought of nasty hands all over their cage for nine more months, and us students, we are rapidly trying to fix our sleep schedules in order to avoid sleep deprivation within the first 48 hours of the new year. For some of us, this is a bigger problem than others. I've spent all summer creating habits and routines that are not going to cut it for another one to two dozen days. I can no longer stare at the wall and listen to the Twilight Saga until 1.30am. My free time is limited. I'm juggling school, sports, work, a channel, and more this year. The world is too kind. Where's the pressure and all that, am I right? So, I'll get up each day and go to school. Why do I need to go to English and write an essay if I'm just gonna be a YouTuber my whole life, right? Nonetheless, I'm giving most of my effort into most things this year. A new school year also means shopping. We will waddle behind our apparently figure deck all the way to the store to get enough supplies to last us through most of the year. But be careful, Emily, we are on a budget. After that, us basic girls will take our supplies home and spend the next several hours organizing and decorating it in order to compete for the spot of most aesthetic basic girl in the 2019 to 2020 school year. If I don't win this, I'm coming back as a ghost to haunt every girl that posted more than four YOLOs on her Snapchat story this summer. I have good memories on the front of my binders and friendship bracelet patterns on the back. I should never have a boring moment this year. My mission as junior class vice president is to make sure everyone gets a friendship bracelet because that High school, no one gets left behind, and I mean no one. We are all gonna be friends this year, so you better apologize for calling that girl fat last year because we are not gonna have that in my 2019 to 2020 school year, dang it. Back to school season also means new clothes and shoes, and that everyone will look nice for about the first week or so, and then we will all go back to the usual. My back to school shoes were Crocs and Slides. Crocs are fun, practical, and comfy, but most importantly, they can get wet, so they're perfect for all types of weather. Slides are just a staple thing to have in your closet, and I have had mine for three years, so here we go, some nice white new slides. I really need to find some crock pin things, so comment down below and tell me like which ones I should get or something, because I can't really find any good ones. I bought some other random clothes that I'm not really going to talk about because quite honestly it's not that important and you're not going to remember anything about it after you're done with this video. I also bought some leggings from Fabletics and so did my sister. I'd first of all like to thank Annika for ordering $82 worth of leggings to my card and then I'd like to give an even bigger thank you to Robert from Fabletics for fixing this mistake. I also got these black socks that I thought were just so me because they have my initials on them and there's pretty much no way I can ever lose my socks again with these. Also they look like straight gas with my crocs and slides. Also here's some other clothes I got from various stores all at decently reasonable prices. They're really nice so I'm proud of my choices. Um, also shout out to the guy in the red shirt who said he liked my crocs at the mall. That was pretty nice of you. Even though they're just plain white crocs and there's nothing on them, which this means that my grandma took that as he liked me more than my crocs, but who even knows? Comment down below what clothes I should wear on my first day of school, because as my subscribers, I'm handing you all the responsibility of dressing me for my first day of grade 11. I'm 16 and tired of picking out my own outfit. The clout is catching up to me. I'm going to need a personal assistant by next week, and I might as well hire a chef while I'm at it. I'm going to try to be more organized with my time this year, because as it turns out, your life will turn to chaos pretty quick if you don't have some standards. So if you're going to be a freshman this year, try sticking your sks and oops in your flaw raven for a little bit so you can find your true unique self this year. Remember that drooling in the bathroom will only turn your lungs into charcoal, and if you're being peer pressured into drugs this year, it's time to find some new friends. I believe in you, and you can do it. And for all those sophomores this year, try not to whack other people with your keys, you're just being annoying, and being able to drive is an achievement, it's a money pit. Maybe learn to ride your bike again and use less gas every once in a while. Also, if you swing your keys around too hard, you might give yourself a concussion, and I say this against my better judgment, but some of you could use a change of mind. For my fellow juniors, I'll be right alongside you as we scribble our way through the SAT and ACT this year. Do, do your best, and remember that things will work themselves out if you work to figure things out. Only dead fish go with the flow, so define gravity and don't quit on me now. Seniors, I don't really have much to say to you because I haven't been a senior yet, but quite honestly, it looks pretty fun. Anyways, so I have a lot of fun stuff coming out on my channel this next year, so you best be subscribing so you don't miss out. Like this video because the format was inspired by John Cena herself, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful, terrific, awesome, great school year, and that you just blow your own socks off about how cool you're going to be this year. Peace, love, happiness, and your subscription to my channel are very appreciated. Thank you next. Bye.